Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today I want to talk about something which you've probably seen about a dozen times already since every Elementor YouTuber out there has covered this already. But I want to show it in maybe a different example, perhaps. I haven't watched all of the Lottie and Elementor videos that are out there. Uh, but one of the upcoming features for Elementor, and by the way, what I'm going to show you today is only in Elementor Pro, is support for these Lottie files. And if you're like a lot of us, you might not have seen this stuff before. And what this allows you to do is have these beautifully crafted uh, animations loading in your uh, Elementor site. So uh, the first thing that might come to mind is like, boy, we're going to add a ton of load and uh, slow page times to our Elementor sites, perhaps. Um, I know that a lot of this stuff is built with efficiency in mind. Uh, but for example, if you click on an animation, you can see the file size uh, that it is and how big the resolution is, which will all help sort of render this uh, as efficient as possible. And you get to choose from, you know, many, many variations here. So picking uh, the ones that are the most efficient and not using so many of them is, you know, key to all of this stuff. I'm going to show you an example today, which I think you can find a way to use this stuff without it feeling... Uh, overpowering or like you're just animating the entire page and one specifically is going to be with this pulse icon and then the other one is going to be for a thank you page and it's going to be this email uh, envelope or this envelope opening up with the thank you page and here's the example that I want to dive into uh, this is just a, a basic hello template for Elementor and effectively, what I want to do is have that pulse icon next to a email sign up box at the end of every blog post on my website. So let's just, for example, take a look at uh, this is default hello. So there is not much happening here. Uh, this is what it looks like, you know, no real styling and no real structure. But one of the things you might do is create yourself a theme for every single blog post in your Elementor site. So I'm going to go to Theme Builder, Add New, uh, Single Post, and Matt's Test 2, create the template. And remember, this is only on Elementor Pro where you get the Theme Builder uh, capabilities and of course the, uh, the Lottie support as well. Um, I am going to pick Let's say this one. And insert this. And effectively, this single post style will be for every single blog post in my Elementor site. So if I hit publish, you'll see what are the conditions here. And we're going to say include this uh, theme on every single post or every single category or every page. We're just going to make it all the posts. Uh, that happen on our Elementor site, okay? So now if we close out of this, go to all of our posts, view, here is that new style. It looks similar to what we just saw before, but there's definitely some styling there. And of course you can see here uh, with these Facebook comments. But now we want to say at the end of every single one of these posts, I want to have a email sign up as you might do in your marketing blog and then have that little pulse icon as a way to capture somebody's attention. So again, the idea is not to litter your site with all of these Lottie animations, but use them tastefully in areas where, you know, we think that they can actually be an advantage. And I think this is one of them. So let's go back into the theme builder. We will edit with Elementor. Scroll to the bottom. And we will add this 50-50, whoops. And then on the left-hand side, we'll search for Lottie. Bring that over. And we will also search for, we'll just use the form for right now as a good example placeholder. And let's edit this form and get rid of the message. And then we'll do one more 
section here. We'll grab this. I always do that here. I always, I'm always dragging from the left-hand side and doing it the same thing inside of Elementor. So let's put this up here. Heading. Sign up for our awesome newsletter. Center that. Edit the Lottie file. Now I've already, you can download these. Um, you have to create the account over at Lottie. Most of these, when you search are Creative Commons, uh, of course, do your own diligence here. I don't know if they all come with the same, you know, Creative Commons license and uh, there is a paid version of this and maybe you can use that on commercially available uh, websites or projects, that kind of thing. So definitely do your own uh, diligence there. But when you search for this stuff, you can find the Creative Commons, uh, Lottie animations. And for example, on the right hand side, uh, you can use you can use the animation with HTML, Webflow, Apple, uh, and uh, which I think is the Go framework or Swift. Swift is what it's called. Uh, and then of course Android, or you can just download the JSON file. Now I downloaded the JSON file and I've uploaded it already to my WordPress. It says Pulse JSON file, insert the media, and there it is. That's the the Pulse which you saw for a quick second. And if we edit this. Let's just loop it so you can kind of see it in action. That's the pulse animation and it's full, uh, almost full resolution here. And it's, that's what the pulse is going to look like. And here we have the options to uh, change up the speed so you can make it pulse really, really fast <laughs> or really, really slow. Um, you can have it start and end at different points or just play it for a number of times. So if you don't want it to continuously loop, um, obviously you would uncheck uh, the continuous loop or put in, you know, whatever, 10 pulses or whatever, you know, whatever your animation might be doing. So we'll just leave it at that for a second here and we'll speed it up just a touch. Let's do 20. Let's just do 20. Just to make sure people are actually getting uh, to see that. And then on the left, on the right hand side, uh, we have, I'm just using the built-in Elementor forms. Uh, you might eventually hook this up to uh, something like uh, a MailChimp or another uh, sort of service that you're, you know, working with. But in this case, what we're going to do is say action after submit is redirect. And what we want to do is redirect it to a thank you page. And before I forget, let's go back to the Lottie animation. And adjust the width of this pulse. That way it's just, just enough where it's it's sort of even with our form. Hit update. And let's get out of this. I, that exit the dashboard. Now if we look at our posts, view this post. Scroll all the way to the bottom. And there's our little pulse animation and it's saying sign up for our awesome newsletter. Of course, we can make this look uh, and function however we want, but the idea is I, I, I don't mind using a Lottie animation or an animation effect like this to draw someone's attention. It's only going to load you know, this one time at the bottom of a blog post. I'm not going to you know, litter an entire page with it. And I think it's a good example of using something that's eye-catching to create this sort of call to action, to sort of generate this action and, and at least give yourself a better chance for your visitor uh, or reader to see, in this case, the sign-up form. Now, that sign-up form is going to redirect to a page that says thank you. So let's go ahead and make that page. We'll publish that and we will edit with Elementor. First thing we want to do is let's just not show the thank you page title. And in this case, I might use something like this block. Um, maybe something like this gives me a good framework. And I'll edit this and I'll say, thank you for subscribing. And call to action one, call to action two. And this is sort of a lesson in, you know, 
whenever I'm setting up a, a subscription form, uh, an email subscription form on a website, I always like to have it go to a thank you page. That way I can measure the effectiveness of that uh, email sign up. And it's also a chance for you to give another call to action, right? So you might find this common when somebody has uh, an image of, let's say, the Gmail inbox and telling people, you know, make sure to check your promotions tab. Um, other people and myself included might want to, you know, redirect the person. Okay, now that you've signed up to the email list, here is my, you know, whatever Facebook page, here's my Twitter handle, here's my YouTube link, you know, really giving somebody else, okay, thanks for taking that first step of subscribing to the email. Now let me get you to do some other uh, actions here. Uh, and then just to dress this up, let's go ahead and uh, actually, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do Lottie. Bring this Lottie animation in. Now we can delete this. And we're going to use the thank you email icon. Boom. You know, and that's it. <laughs> that's as simple uh, as that gets. It's just the thank you page. Uh, and it's just a nice way, I think, for us to see uh, a nice little animation. Once somebody signs up, they see this nice little Lottie animation. It's kind of cool. Uh, it's kind of attractive there. And then if there's other call to actions, um, you know, you, you're just upping your ante and somebody to subscribe uh, to other places, right? So one last time, using Lottie in the end of all my blog posts. And I built that using the Elementor Pro theme builder, putting it at the end of uh, the post here, and that'll appear on every single blog post. I guess you could get even more creative with, um, you know, doing some conditional values. And uh, if it's a particular type of category, maybe it loads a different Lottie animation. Uh, you can get pretty clever with the theme builder. And I think uh, the icing on the cake are these nice little Lottie animations. And then, of course, redirecting. Uh, to that thank you page when somebody fills out the form. Just a nice little touch of animation. So I hope that helps. Um, Lottie looks interesting. It looks pretty cool. You can do some clever things with it. And I think that's what part of the attraction is. It's plugintut.com. Plugintut.com slash subscribe to join that mailing list. We'll see you in the next video.